guys, today you join us in Bryfield in Lancashire. We're super close to Blackburn and Manchester. I'm gonna be taking you inside this four bed, two bathroom house behind me that has just over 2,100 square feet of interior space. Now it's got some really stunning contemporary interiors. The family who own this have done a great job at the renovations and they've made it feel so luxurious but practical inside. Now it's listed for just under £470,000. So if you're interested, be sure to drop us a message using our email below in the description. But Tom, we're gonna start outside and just run you through a little bit. We've got the Indian stone driveway with the block paving around the edge, then it really stands out. We've got this K render with the black frames on the front of the house, really fitting that contemporary style home. We've got a fence that runs around the perimeter of the property. We're on a corner plot here, so we've got tons of garden space, which is a huge benefit. And we've got access around to the garden too, via here. Are you ready to head on in Tom? So I know I am. Let's head in. Let's go. Inside the property now, we've got this porch section with these incredible galaxy tiles. We've also got an atrium style skylight above, easing that transition from the house to outside. And we've got a separate door here as well, so you don't have the glass, so no one can look in. <laughs> but as we come on in, I am immediately blown away with how much space we have. We've got this great open plan layout across the whole of this bottom floor, and I'm gonna work through every bit of it. So starting here, we have a nice study section. I must say. Yeah, get yourself in that seat. <laughs> I would like to take this home with me, but it's too big. <laughs> it's like a throne, isn't it? It is. Great spot for some work in the morning and Definitely. a view out to the drive too. Exactly, you can see who's coming in and out. Um, yeah, we've got so much glazing throughout this house. Another kind of motif of that contemporary home is just having all that light flooding in. But yeah, so we've got under stair storage here in that kind of Venetian plaster style. Looks very yep. luxurious. Good under stair storage, yeah. And a pink chair. I love pink. <laughs> yeah, matches the little bench seat over there. Yeah, this is a great use of space. So we have this bench seat kind of under the stairs. We've got the timber cladding that we also had by the door. And yeah, it just adds that bit of texture, I think, to the property. Yeah. So you've got all these white walls, so it's really nice to have. Seems like a real like luxury boutique kind of vibe it does, there, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah, and we've got loads of storage under here too. Yeah. Great spot. Really well lit in here too. You so said about the glazing, we do have loads of spotlights too. So at night time, you can keep it nice and bright. Yeah, and we've got a really soft carpet too, which helps. But I'm gonna to come to this lounge space now. The ceiling heights have raised in here to fit the roof. So it feels a bit more open and airy as opposed to in there. We've got this great L-shaped black couch. Me and Tom love this couch, don't yeah. we? I like the dark furniture through here. We've got this very minimalistic interior design and we've got these simple shapes like the L-shaped couch, which fit the room perfectly. And this position here allows you to just get a great view down to where Tom is at the other end of the room. And that's what makes it a great family home. I can imagine having tons of your family in here yes. and just being able to communicate. And yeah, it's just so airy, isn't it, in here? It is. Let's check out the kitchen though. Yeah, we're going over now. So we switch from the carpet to these high gloss marble tiles and they've kind of got that blue like tint to them as well, which yes, is really like a unique. bluey gray, right? Yeah. But yeah, we have a really super sleek contemporary kitchen in here. We've got the matte black countertops and island. It just looks so good. It's yeah. so luxury in here. We've got the gas hob here. Yeah, I love all of the gold little trims as well around the kitchen. You can see exactly. it everywhere from the taps. Like all along here. Yeah, You've got yeah. it down on these shelves here. Even on some of the legs of the furniture too. Yeah. We've got so much storage in here, it's absolutely amazing. We've also got two Velux windows above here, bringing light in, but also a ventilation for your hob. Yeah, a, positioned perfectly above yeah. that hob, actually. Yeah, you could crack perfectly. it open while you're cooking. Exactly, and we've got a really nice chandelier hanging above too. If I come over here, we've got a great space for fridge and freezer, brass tap here. Yeah, the, the owners are actually putting in a splashback as well, I believe in yes. a gold star. It's actually down here, let me just show you guys quick. I believe that's what's going there. So that'll that work perfectly with the gold theme. Exactly, so stunning. The house is nearly at completion. It's just got those last little finishing touches. So it's nearly ready. Yeah. <laughs> we've got the oven and microwave here. Another great storage space there. And we've got a huge window looking towards the front of the property and your driveway bringing in so much light. I love the angle of this island. Yeah, I like yeah, how it the curves bench in. seats sort of yeah. sit perfectly in there. Definitely. We also have these bifolding doors right next to the kitchen. Once again, so much more light. Shall I open them up? Go yeah, do it. Let's open us, open us all the way up. Right. There you go. Yeah. Nicely done. Oh, 
thank you. You usually can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have tons of garden space. Like I said, we're on a corner plot. We've got this nice decking area once again with the Indian stone, fencing surrounding your house. It's a bit more private. I love this. This would be a great place in the summer. You've got all your wine hanging up here yeah. and a great area to sit. We've got this another area here. Great barbecue spot. Yeah, Imagine as you can see, it's very sun soaked. Pit. You know, we're getting the sun now in the afternoon. Yeah. So it'd be a perfect spot for a barbecue in the summer, wouldn't it? Exactly. And like I said, we've got loads of extra space down there, which has so much potential. But we're going to head back in. Oh, it's so warm in here. It's very well insulated. Yes, the glazing exactly. is awesome. Time to step up into our next living space. Come on through the arch, Tom. Yeah, this is like the, the entertaining wing of the property. Oh yeah, this is it. So starting here, we've got the LED strip recessed into the ceiling going all the way across, just giving that bit of ambience. Makes you want a boogie. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a great seating area here. Once again, with the gold touches on the table, the legs of the couch. And yeah, we've got a nice window once again, looking out to the front of the property. Yeah, TV it's so there. well lit, right? Yeah, I know. It's so bright in here. The white really helps with that. It just reflects everywhere. Definitely. But I think this is one of my favorite parts. So we step off the carpet onto this really luxurious looking marble that actually has gold glitter grout between. Pretty special touch, right? It's Matching so that trim that we see all around. Yeah. Little bits of gold. Exactly. But yeah, we have a bit more of a different theme in this one. It's kind of a chef's kitchen slash bar, I'd say. We've got the gas hob here with the extract fan above it. Loads of storage down here. We've got a wine cooler slash fridge, sink. And yeah, look at this bar setup. I know, right? Look at the yeah, shelves. it'd be so cool. If you've got your mates around, you're watching the World Cup, what yeah. a spot for it. Yeah. Which one would you choose? Put in the comments below. Yeah, I can see Conor McGregor's whiskey there actually, the proper 12. Yeah, we've got a great selection and I like the fact that we've got two different contrasting kitchens as well. Yeah, very practical. Mm -hmm. I can imagine I'd make myself dinner in the, the main kitchen. And if I was making a snack or maybe some breakfast, I'd be in here, have my morning coffee in front of that TV over there. So oh, it's yeah. a great choice to have too, right? Definitely. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. We're gonna swap over and I'm gonna check out the bedroom. Let's go. Wow, the first thing I see when I come upstairs is this wallpaper, immersed in roses, nice floral theme. We've got a bedroom in front of me. This would be a great study setup or a kid's bedroom. At the moment, it is being used as a fully equipped playroom, as you can <laughs> see by all these toys. Good vibes. Yeah. Let's go straight across. We're gonna head into this family bathroom. Again, you can see these brass gold trims all the way around. We've got it on the taps, even the trims on these tiles. Let's talk about those tiles. Tom. Yeah, those tiles are pretty stunning, right? I feel like I'm in space. <laughs> yeah. Like an interstellar awesome. trip here. Yeah, it's really cool. Of that sort of galaxy, the blues again, some of that sort of rusty oranges coming through. Yeah. yeah, very lovely. And we've got a shower tucked in just around the corner here as well with a nice rainfall shower head, also in that brass theme. Big shower head, that. Yeah, we've got a nice frosted window there as well. Yes, great for privacy. As we head down this corridor, we have a Bedroom in here, bit of a cozy setup. We've got the bed right in the center of the room and then we have a spot recessed into the wall for a TV. Yeah, that would be ideal, wouldn't it? I can imagine it being so snug in winter, yes. just curling up, watching Come a Come in, crash in here. You could maybe even use that room there as a like a walk-in wardrobe. Yeah. Good for storage as well. But yeah, let's go straight across. We've got another bedroom in here. Another double bed in the center of the room. We've actually got views out towards Pendle Hill here. Some pretty stunning hills immersed all the way around this property. Let's check out the principal suite just further down. So we step up, we've got some architraving and bits to finish on these doors, if you just notice in those. This principal suite is an incredible scale. Wow. Just look how big it is, tons of space in here. I love how you can really see the pitch of the roof. We've got some great symmetrical angles created here. Mm -hmm. The ceiling height kind of rises as we come into the main part where the bed is, but where Jazz has stood now, it'd be a great spot for a little lounge setup. Yeah. You know, we've got the TV, if you had a sofa here or something, you can imagine that being perfect to just watch that. We've actually got ultra fast fiber optic um, broadband as well wow. in Nelson up here in the Pendle Hills. So yeah, you've got all of these views, but that contemporary convenience. Mm -hmm. Love these Moroccan lanterns, by the way. I know, it's just these little nice touches of interior design that yes. really make it feel homey. The dark radiators as well really complement that modern look that we've got with the black frames. They just look like perfectly suited for the room, don't they? Definitely, especially because they're vertical as well. Yes. I've got a huge headboard here as well on the bed. With this pin cushion vibe again. You can see that in the sofas downstairs. Very in trend at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, like that black seat as well at the bottom. 
do have two different rooms through here. So we've got a dressing room and an ensuite. If you want to peek in here and have a look. Perfect spot, little dressing area. We've got a mirror in front of me. Perfect for getting ready in the morning. Yeah, very bright in there with the spotlights as well. Yeah, absolutely, a good size. And then we've got ensuite in here as well. Love the marble through here. The black grout creating a nice contrast in between those tiles. Yes. The dark radiator again, floating sink. Perfect spot for a mirror here. And this bath. Fit for a spa. How lovely does that look right now? Oh yeah, it's got the fair yeah. tea lights in it. Oh. Dual aspect windows in this bedroom as well. So not only have you got stunning views, but again, we've got some great natural light coming in here, just flooding in. Yeah. You know, we are immersed in the hills, as I've said a few times already. I actually grew up in Nelson and around here. I've got a lot of family living here. There's some amazing walks nearby and just stunning views all around. Absolutely, yeah. So we hope you guys have enjoyed the tour of this home. If you want some more information and are interested in this property, be sure to head to the description below, send us an email, we can make something happen. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next tour. Bye.